This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. We're at the O2 here for the weigh-in for Risky Business with me. But one of the finest fighters of our uh, of our time, Steve Collins. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. Um, Frank Bullioni, obviously he's in uh, action tomorrow night. Mm. Where, where do you think Frank Bullioni can go this year? Obviously, you know, people keep referring back to his commitment defeat, which is out of, the, out of the way now. He needs to push on. He's, he's, he's improving all the time. You know, there's no rush with Frank. You know, every time Frank performs, he looks better than the last time. So he's moving in the right direction. Very, very happy with him in the gym. Very happy he's making weight easy, easier. He's... Um, He's just performing. He's just performing really well, and, and we're very excited and looking forward to this, this this fight tomorrow night. When you first got, obviously, you and your brother got hold of uh, Frank. Was there a lot that you saw in him that you needed to change, or was it tweaks? Or no, I mean, we, we, we inherited a very good fighter who, who was always going to progress. I think I think the, the advantage we have is that Frank is, is living in training camp, so he, he's, he's there 24/7 in the gym. He's away from home. There's no distractions, and I think that's the difference, you know. And regardless of who Frank. Bullioni was with. He was always going to progress and make it as a fighter. But I think the change has suited him and, and uh, it actually suits a lot of fighters too. You know, move away from the home environment and, and base himself in, in training camp. Um, can you give us an update about your boy, Steve? My boy, Steve Jr. Yeah, he fought last Friday. Um, very, very impressed with his performance. You know, people can understand he's a raw novice, no amateur career. First fight was in the pro games. We were very impressed with his win last week. He took his time. You know, he's got natural power, he's very strong, and he was very relaxed in his last fight. And he really put it together well, and he had the guy over three times inside two rounds, and the referee and, and the corner just, you know, at the same time stopped the fight because uh, he was just looking too good to becoming one-sided. And we do believe now he's out again in, on the uh, 14th up in Witness on the Box Nation show, just being confirmed his opponent, and we're just negotiating a uh, six-rounder, hopefully, we want him to get, because he's done enough four rounds. Help me on the undercard of uh, Mackenzie and Askin. That's and it, Witness. yeah, yeah, good show, yeah, good, good night's boxing. Absolutely, uh, Steve. Uh, about a week and a half ago, it was obviously announced uh, the Pacquiao Mayweather mm -hmm. boxing world went crazy. Obviously, um, uh, the fights come a few years too late for you, possibly. Well, people say you know five years ago they're both at the peak, but at the end of the day, they're both the same people who would have fought five years ago fighting today. So it's still a match. They're both. They both are at the best possible condition they can be in for their age, so it doesn't really matter. It's still a match, it's still a great fight. And you know, you can sway back and forth uh, to who's going to win. I, I would like Pacquiao to win because I, I like him personally, as a, I, li I like, his, I like his, you know, how he carries himself uh, as a professional fighter. So, therefore, I would side with him. Plus, the fact that you know, my, 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 former, my friend and former coach, Freddie Roach, is, is his coach and advisor, so I'm obviously biased. I want him to win for that reason as well. You want him to win, but do you think he will win, Steve? I honestly believe he has what it takes to win. Yet he's um, he's a fighter that you know needs to be pushed to the limit to bring the best out in him, and he certainly is going to be pushed to the limit in in, in this fight. And, and I think it's his last uh, hurrah, it's his last big showcase, and I think he wants to go out on a high note. Pacquiao's speed wasn't what it was, but it's still very good. Has he got that speed to trouble Mayweather? He's got, he's got the craftsmanship, the ring knowledge. He knows how to get close to the guy. He knows how to cut the ring off. He knows how to land the shots, you know. He may not have the speed he had five years ago, but he still has enough speed to uh, land the shots and tell him blows. Well, May the 2nd, we shall uh, find out. You got yourself a ticket, Steve, for that? No, I haven't. I may be going out. I'm, in, I'm, I'm negotiating at the moment whether I'm going to go out or not. Um, I'll have to watch the space and see what happens. Also, by the way, I want to wish Carl Frampton, who's also fighting tomorrow night, the best of luck. He's got a tough defence. He's a great fighter, and he's one of our own, and we've got to support him. Absolutely. All right, Steve Collins, thanks for talking to Eiffel TV, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Thank you. Thank you very much.